Hi, Math Aid students. Today we are working on adding and subtracting with scientific notation. Add or subtract the decimal numbers. Keep the power of 10. Be sure to write the number correctly in scientific notation. So these ones are easier because the power of 10s are the same. We can keep them and add the other numbers. So simply add 4.5 and 5.97, which gives us 7 plus 0 is 7, 5 plus 9 is 14, and 4 plus 1 is 5 plus 5 more is 10. So it's 10.47 times 10 to the 6th. But that's not written correctly in scientific notation because the 10 is larger than what is needed in scientific notation. So we move the decimal back once or decrease the place value, giving us 1.047. And since we decrease this place value by 1, we have to increase our power of 10 by 1. So our final answer is 1.047 times 10 to the 7th. Over here, again, we have the same power of 10, so we can simply subtract 9.052 minus 1.88. 2 minus 0 is 2. 5 minus 8 can't be done, so we have to borrow, make the 9 an 8, which makes this a 0 a 10. Borrowing from that, that makes that a 9, and the 5 a 15. 15 minus 8 is 7, 9 minus 8 is 1, and 8 minus 1 is 1. So we get 1.172 times 10 to the 8th, and no need to rewrite it in this case because we only have one digit to the left of the decimal. All right, so those ones are really simple because they have the same power of 10, so you're going to try the next two on your own. All right, so now we have to rewrite the following numbers so that they have the same exponent and then add or subtract. So whenever you're doing problems like this when your power of 10s are different, Take the smaller power of 10 and rewrite it so it's the same as the bigger, and that will make it so you don't have to rewrite again later. So we need to rewrite this 10 to the 8th as 10 to the 9th. Since this is being increased by one place, our decimal has to be de decreased by one place. So this is going to be 0 0.399 times 10 to the 9th. Now I can add 0 and 9 make 9. 8 and 9 make 17, 6 and 1 is 7, plus 3 is 10, and 1 and 1 is 2. So my final answer is 2.079 times 10 to the 9th. All right, let's try another. Number 6. Again, we want to change the smaller of the power of 10. So 10 to the 7th, we're going to change to 10 to the 10th. That means we're adding three place values. So we need to move back three place values which is 0 0.0048 times 10 to the third. Then we can add 9.763 plus 0 0.0048. For some reason, it doesn't want to write it. There we go. Adding those up, 0 and 8 is 8. 3 and 4 is 7. 6 and 0 is 6. 7 and 0 is 7 bringing down the 9, we get 9.7678 times 10 to the 10th power. All right, number 7. Now we have 2.98 times 10 to the 6th minus 5.3 times 10 to the 5th. So we want to write that 10 to the 5th as 10 to the 6th. This is increasing by 1, so we're going to move this back once. So it's 0 0.53 times 10 to the 6th. So we do 2.98 minus 0 0.53, 8 minus 3 is 5, 9 minus 5 is 4, and 2 minus 0 is 2, so our final answer is 2.45 times 10 to the 6th. All right, so you're going to try 8 through 10 on your own. Check in with me before moving on to the word problems. Number 11. The pro population of the United States is approximately 3.189 times 10 to the 8th people. Canada's is about 3.516 times 10 to the 7th. Bermuda's is about 6.533 times 10 to the 4th. Mexico's is about 1.223 times 10 to the 8th. And Greenland's is about 5.619 times 10 to the 4th. Determine the approximate population of North America. So all of those um, countries combined create North America. So we're going to add all of their populations. So we have 3.189 times 10 to the 8th, 3.516 times 10 to the 7th, 6.533 times 10 to the 4th, 
and 1.223 times 10 to the 8th, and one more, 5.619 times 10 to the 4th. So our largest power of 10 is 8, which means we need to rewrite the others. So I'm going to bring over anything with an 8 and rewrite anything that doesn't have an 8. So this one stays. This 10 to the 7th needs to be changed to 10 to the 8th, so I need to decrease the power, the place value by 1. So that's 0 0.3516. I'm going to be very careful as to where I write these so that my decimals line up. Then the fourth needs to be changed to 10 to the eighth as well, which means my place value has to go back four places. So it's going to be 0 0.0006533. 10 to the eighth stays 1.223 times 10 to the eighth. And then we have another 10 to the fourth, so that needs to go back four places 0 0.0005. 619 times 10 to the 8th. So now I can add those all up. Be really careful that everything is lining up when you're adding. Otherwise, you're going to make a silly mistake. So those ones there line up. So we've got 3 and 9 that make 12. 3, 1, and 1 make 5. 5 and 6 make 11. 6 and 6 makes 12, plus 1 more is 13, plus 5 is 18. 9 and 1 is 10, then 1 more is 11, and 3 more is 14. 8 and 1 is 9, plus 5 more is 14, plus 2 more is 16. 1 and 1 is 2, plus 3 more is 5, plus 2 more is 7. And then 3 and 1 make 4. So we have 4.7648152 times 10 to the 8th is the population of North America. All right, so that's a lot of work rewriting. You got to make sure you're very careful and neat so that it lines up carefully. All right, so now you're going to try 12 on your own. Again, check in with me so you can be sure that you've got it correct.